Last year, John Bennington, England's chief science advisor, gave a major speech in which he warned that climate change, population growth, and the rising demand for food, energy, and water constituted a perfect storm that by the year 2030 could cause major disruption to the world. He didn't think it was the end of civilization as we know it, but he warned that it could be a major calamity. The report that we are releasing today looks in more detail at what that perfect storm might look like. Over the next two decades, world population will grow from 6.8 billion people to 8.3 billion people. The effects of climate change will become more pronounced. The demand for food, energy, and water will grow by almost 50%, while the demand for fresh water will grow by nearly 30%. If we are unable to meet those demands by the year 2030, the consequences for the world could be very severe indeed. Geographically, the areas of the world that will probably be hurt the most are Sub-Saharan Africa, the Middle East, and various parts of South Asia. The reason why is that these areas are already rapidly growing in terms of population. They already suffer from severe poverty, and they also are heavily dependent, in many cases, upon external sources for food aid. And tragically, many of these same areas will suffer the worst effects of climate change. The greatest concern that we have about the 2030 scenario is another food crisis. Two years ago, the world went through a major food crisis as wheat prices and corn prices doubled and rice prices tripled. As a consequence of that food crisis, there were food riots in more than 20 countries across the world. If in the course of the next two decades we fail to grow enough food to keep up with the rising demand for food, we could face another food crisis, except this one could be a global food crisis that would affect the entire world. The people that would be most affected are those people in the developing countries, but particularly those people living in urban centers. People living on a dollar or two dollars a day. People who would be unable to afford the basic necessities of life, food and water. It's possible that we can avoid this scenario if we do all the right things, if we take action on population and climate change, if we take action to satisfy the world's demand for food, energy, and water. But if we continue on our current course, the perfect storm envisioned by John Bennington is in fact a very realistic possibility. That's why we want people to take a look at this scenario, not because it's a prediction of what will happen, but because it can tell us what might happen if we don't change course.